Hey everybody, Felix Stoffelbaker here. Wanted to make a video. Um, this is from Foresight News in China Mainland from February 20th, 2023. The English translation <clears throat> is Foresight News. According to Bloomberg, the Hong Kong Securities Regulatory Commission said in a consultation document that individual investors will be allowed to trade large market capitalization tokens on exchanges licensed by the, S the CSRC, provided that safeguards such as knowledge testing, risk tolerance assessment, and reasonable risk exposure restrictions are in place. <clears throat> the consultation period will end on March 31st, and the, global, the goal of allowing retail trading under the new licensing system of a cryptocurrency exchange on June 1st. A spokesman for the Chinese Security Regulatory Commission said in a briefing that Bitcoin and Ethereum, the two largest digital assets by market capitalization, may be listed on the trading platform in Hong Kong. So that's going to take place June 1st. And it's not a coincidence that the first week of April or the second week of April, you've got Yves LaRose in Hong Kong making the case for Web3 for EOS. And then you also have the Hong Kong um, financial advisor coming out and saying that they're going to invest in Web3. And you have to have to take into account that China has EOS as the number one cryptocurrency. Every time the CCID does a check, since... EOS has launched 2018. It's always maintained the number one spot. So one can only assume we're extrapolating out a few months that it is possible for EOS to be listed on the Hong Kong exchange in June 1st <clears throat> based on everything that we know. <coughs> EOS is constant uptime of over 1,750 days of straight uh working time with zero downtime meanwhile all the other chains have had downtime uh, it's like bitcoin ethereum and eos are the three that have never had any downtime then you've got all these different things going on with the way that uh, block one had a hong kong office set up initially um, <clears throat> all the players that are involved know about eos they know that that's what's coming there know that that's going to disrupt every database so i just see that as them putting it's like a puzzle piece you got a bunch of different puzzle pieces and you put it together and it makes the actual picture and individually those pieces may not do a whole lot to explain what's going on but when you put them all together in a, a way that explains what's coming it's not hard to say hey, EOS is about to be listed on a Hong Kong exchange, and that could dramatically increase the price, especially because we see the downward trend of the charts and <clears throat> over the years, and there's so many different patterns that are all coming together at the same time that, I mean, there's big accounts are starting to take notice of this thing, and they're starting to say, man, this... This price could fly so high that we don't even realize it yet. And most people are going to miss out because, especially in the U.S., EOS has such a bad rap. Uh, meanwhile, Block One still has all the Bitcoin. It's not like they ran off with the money and bought a bunch of houses like BLM does or people at the EOS Network Foundation or any of those types of groups. All it does is show the resolve that EOS was always number one. It was always going to do this, and it was waiting for market timing, like Brendan Bloomer has mentioned many times. It was just waiting for a market timing. We can see that market being created for it. Um, I've heard before people talk about crypto being a problem in search of a solution, and that does have some truth to it because these people are creating the system, the environment, the conditions, all for this to be able to move forward in a meaningful way 
that would benefit the people who have EOS. And it's so far off most people's radar that they're just going to miss out. I mean, it's hard enough getting people to understand Bitcoin amidst the banking system seizures and collapses and global turmoil and government overreach and taking away of rights. So you have to think that EOS is just another Bitcoin level layer below that as far as getting information and knowledge and understanding. And I mean, I've forgotten more about EOS than most people will ever learn. And it's just amazing that this stuff is still going on and people are still so unaware but I'm hoping that this uh, YouTube channel is a beacon of light. It is shining out and it's sounding the signal that people need to pay attention to and that can benefit them in time that is coming. And you know, even if that means when EOS goes to all-time highs or higher to swap it for Bitcoin and put it on uh, a cold wallet or something and go to a different country, I mean, that's... That's a real possibility that may need to happen for some people. So there's all different types of opportunities, but we're seeing now that EOS could be listed on a Hong Kong exchange in June. And we see, too, that June, July in America is setting up for the FedNow service to be able to provide crypto, well, not crypto, to be able to provide uh, crypto-like payments using a dollar system where it's 24-7 accessible, it settles in near instant amount of time, and everyone has a digital wallet through the, uh, they're trying to say it's not through the Fed, but it will be through the Fed once all the regional and local banks collapse into the six mega banks, then they'll be able to issue a digital, uh, a CBDC, a digital currency, that will be programmable, will be, able to be controlled within a geographic limit. I mean, all the stuff that we talk about that EOS has the potential to do with smart contracts. Your your currency is about to be a smart contract where they can set limits arbitrarily for different groups, different people, you know, different races. They could say certain groups of people can't have access to, in certain areas. I mean, it's going to be total enslavement. <clears throat> and that's one of the reasons why I think that EOS is such a lucrative opportunity because you could be the people holding that and then you can dictate what you're going to do. So people not taking that seriously and not paying attention and not taking advantage right now are going to definitely miss the boat. So I just want to put that out there. Staffelbanger out.